Hi y'all, how are you guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. I am so excited to be talking with you guys today. The subject that I'm going to be talking about is something that is very near and dear to my heart. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so I'm excited to share it with you guys, but before we get into that exactly, um, I was going through old photos and pictures on my phone the other day. I think, you know, with all of this extra time we've been given right now, um, we're, we're kind of going into some of those places when we're, we're just bored. We're, we're looking for extra things to fill our time right now. Um, some of us are reminiscing on memories. Maybe that's why you're going back into your phone. Um, if you're anything like me, you need to go back into your archives and start like, well, go into yourself and archiving things and deleting them. Um, I have so many photos and videos. Um, it's like, it's embarrassing. Like literally when people ask me, they're like, well, I bet you don't have as many as me. Or like, I once knew someone that had this many. You don't want to know how many I have. So anyways, that's kind of a side note, but leading me into where I'm going with this. Um, I was going through old photos and videos the other day and I came across this video of, um, this, this guy that I was dating. Um, for a little period of time. Um, he he one time was, he actually did this often, but he um, was freestyling a song on guitar to me, just like singing, like kind of being funny. One of the lyrics in his song to me was, her love language is quality time, which is weird because she's always offline. Unplugging her phone, she loves being alone. How the heck is quality time your love language? You've lost your dang mind. <laughs> okay, so shout out to that guy for that because um, it still brings a smile to my face here. Like reading that to you guys right now just made me laugh again and watching the video did nothing short of that. This, this was early on in me dating this guy, okay? And he, again, was just singing funny things about me and that lyric somehow came to him as he decided to share about me. And it really stuck with me. I remember when he sung it and now like looking back on it some uh, quite a bit of time later, um, it's, it's so true. And I look at this guy and our relationship very early on and he, this was within like a few days of dating. You're probably like, wait, that went really fast. That's a whole nother story. But it, it's very interesting because he clearly understood to kind of a high degree who I am as a person very early on that he was able to say the lyric, unplugging her phone, she loves being alone. How the heck is quality time your love language? It doesn't make sense in his mind if like you don't want to be with someone, but yet you love quality time, you like being alone. Okay, so here's the thing. If we were to talk about love languages right now, I would without a doubt, without a doubt, no question in my mind, share with you that my love language is quality time. Um, anyone who knows me knows that that's extremely important to me. But with that being said, some people mistake or think that quality time is only something that we give or receive from others. And we neglect the idea and the very important concept that quality time is something we have to give to ourselves. And until we give it to ourselves, we can't properly give quality time to others. And I firmly, firmly believe this, y'all. So as it goes on in this story, looking back on that quite a bit of time later, I realized that that is kind of my MO. That's kind of my brand, if you will, is, is how important it is to spend time with yourself and to be at peace within yourself before you can you know, be at peace with others and with the world. Um, and, and while we're in this time of um, a lot of a lot of one on one time with ourselves, we're in isolation, we're in quarantine. Um, I think a lot of people right now are being faced with this harsh reality that they haven't ever spent a lot of time alone and in their own thoughts and in their own body and their feelings. And and they're being confronted right now with that reality of, I don't have any distractions from the outside world. I don't have people, I don't have events, I don't have experiences, places, clubs, restaurants, networking events, work. I don't have all of these outside factors to play into my mental space right now. A lot of us are, are realizing, oh gosh, I don't really, I don't like being alone. There's a reason why 
I was turning to outside factors, to people, to places, all the things I just named. There's a reason why I've been turning to those things because I've either, one, just not gotten comfortable in my own headspace. Two, I'm suppressing other things that I'm not really ready to confront. And three, I just haven't really given my time to myself to, to explore these different things. I have this book that I've shared with my social media and a lot of my friends, um, but this book from my grandma, it's a simple abundance book. And there's this quote from it that really, really sticks out to me. And it says, in the beginning of any intimate relationship, the best gift you can offer another person is the investment of quality time together. So it is with your authentic self. You probably have been ignoring her for decades. Now it's time to make amends. I love this. And I remember when I read this, I was like, wow, what a concept. Like we, for so long, for whatever reason, whether we were taught it, whether it was a learned habit from a parent, a teacher, a friend, a sister, a brother, someone around us, that that it's kind of okay to ignore our own needs, to ignore our own desires, and we're supposed to give it to others and be a giver and love on people. And, you know, that's all great and that's all true. But we have to first understand ourselves and we have to spend the time necessary to know ourselves and you know comparing it to to that guy I dated too within a few days of knowing each other he knew these things about me intimate details about the inner workings of my mind and my heart and the way that I operate and it got me thinking we spend so much time getting to know other people whether it be a new partner that you're dating or a new friend or coworker. Um, we spend so much time asking details of other people's lives and what makes them tick, what are their favorite movies, their favorite foods. But do we actually spend the time asking ourselves those questions? Do we truly know what makes us tick, what brings us joy when we feel the most at peace, when we feel the most comfortable, when we feel the most beautiful? Do we know those things about ourselves? I was talking to my friend Jordan the other day on FaceTime, and I'm so grateful right now that we have technology to connect us with our friends, um, especially while while we are in this isolated time. And and her and I were chatting, and she she was saying to me something that that really stuck with me. And during this time, I've heard a lot of people, you know, share how they're so excited when they when isolation is over, when the quarantine is over, when we're able to go back to our lives, all the things they're going to do and how they're going to be the most social person out there. And, and that's incredible. Trust me, y'all, I can't wait to have a social life again, essentially, and to, to see my people and to do the things I love to do. But what Jordan said, she said it in a different way where she said, I can't wait to come out of this and be okay being alone. And I was like, oh, girl, you are Literally, that is music to my ears because, again, this is like my favorite topic because the concept of being alone is so scary to so many people that right now, while we're in this isolation, while we're in this quarantine, so many people are, are being forced to look in the mirror and to confront their own thoughts and to confront their emotions and feelings and all these things that may have been suppressed. So many things that are going on in our inner workings have been pushed aside or ignored because we had all of these distractions all the time, but now we don't. Now you're spending all of this time alone and a lot of people are getting uncomfortable. They're, they're, they're getting crazy, they're, they're going nuts, they're bored, they are uncomfortable, they don't know how to be alone because they haven't yet done this before. They haven't done this by choice, therefore this enforced um, rule right now is, is literally making everyone do it. And as Jordan and I had this conversation, she, she was laughing and she was like, Leah, I figured out of anyone right now, you would be the one that would be so happy and doing great with this alone time. And, you know, it's, she's not wrong. And the thing is, is I, I'm in a place where I really value my time alone. And, I, and I'll talk about this a million more times as we go down this road, but um, I know the importance of it. I know how, how necessary it is to spend time alone and to reflect and to get clear and to hear your own thoughts and be able to really find out what it is that you're going through. And, and until you create a safe haven, essentially, within your own body and your mind, you can't really go out into the outside world and, and function to the highest of your degree. Um, 
And I think that's, that's where a big part of it comes for me is that I want to be the best human I can be for others and for our world. But I know that I can't be that unless I spend the work that it takes within alone by myself to grow and to be comfortable in my own skin. I'm going to try to wrap this up here, but you know, as, as we do spend this time, all of this time that we have right now, I think it's really cool that we've, we've been given the opportunity to spend a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with ourselves. We, we live in such a fast paced world and society that we're constantly shown and given opportunities to distract ourselves from our day-to-day -day thoughts. Um, and sometimes, you know, this is why a lot of people will struggle with sleeping at night because it's the first time in their day that they, they lay down and they can hear themselves. So right now, I just want you to understand that you're not alone. Um, you shouldn't, you shouldn't look at this as isolation or I'm by myself. Um, look at this as an opportunity to get comfortable in your own skin, to honor the temple that you, you exist in every single day. Um, and I, and I want to leave you with a few affirmations that have really helped me find my inner peace and be really comfortable in my own space and by myself. Um, but here's a few. One is I stay in my calm, peaceful center, no matter what is happening around me. My inner peace brings me answers, ideas, and solutions. I experience inner peace by forgiving and letting go. Understanding that y'all, nobody can rob you of your inner peace if you work to create that and you focus on that every day. And lastly, I am peaceful. I choose peace. Okay guys, so, that's all on this subject today. I could honestly do an hour and a half at least on this subject. So I would love if you have any questions or want to discuss further with me. This is something I really am passionate about because I do believe that, that everything we do on the outer world starts with our inner world and creating that space and that peace within a happy place for you to be every single day is going to be so important. And it's just necessary, I think, for, for being happy in your outside world and sharing that with others. So. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope this encourages you in some way. Um, and I would love to discuss further if you have any questions, but stay at peace guys. Make sure you understand you are in control of that and you're going to come out of this time better than before.